Today I am going to show you how to make a quick and easy rice dish with things that you may already have in your kitchen. The first step is to get some water boiling. I've got four cups of water in this pan. I'm going to bring that to a boil and then I will be back and add my rice. As you can see, the water is boiling. I'm going to add two cups of rice. Just gonna stir that around a little bit. Bring it back to a boil and then I'll reduce it to simmer and let it simmer until the rice is nice and tender okay that rice is all done i've let it set so that it could kind of soak up some of the rest of the water oops i just spilled some it's nice and fluffy so next i'm going to add a can of drained beans i'm using kidney beans because that's what i had in the cabinet you could really pretty much use any beans that you wanted to use whatever your favorite is i guess black beans i think would probably be be good with this i don't know beans are kind of beans so let's stir them in a little bit here Then I'm going to add a can of Rotel. This one has just happens to be a fire roasted. You can add whatever one you want. And I'm going to mix that in. I'm gonna turn my pan around here so I can hold the handle. I almost got too much rice for this pan. If you want it a little more tomatoey, you could add a little bit of tomato sauce to it. I am also going to add a little bit of one of my favorite spices, which is intense. These come from Overland Spice, Overland Spices. And you can find them on Instagram. I'll try to remember to put a link to them down in the bottom. If you're wondering, no, Jesse won't eat this. This is for me. And yes, it is a bunch and I'm not going to eat it all at once. This is going to be probably a week's worth of meals. This will sit in the refrigerator and be good for a few days. And if you make way too much, you can always freeze some of it too. Just want to make sure and get that spice mixed in really good. And you can use whatever spices you wish. You could add cayenne pepper, cumin. You could add chili powder if you wanted to. Boy, I'm just flinging that all over the stove, aren't I? Trying to get that mixed up really well. All right, let's get this plated. Now, what I love about this is that it is so versatile. You can put, make this a side dish. You can make this the main dish. You could add some beef to it. You could add some chicken to it. I am putting it, as you can see, on some quesadillas. And I'm gonna make it basically be a rice and bean burrito. I'm gonna add some shredded cheese. And then I'm going to add 
a little bit of habanero hot sauce because I like the spice. Now, just fold these up. I may have put a little bit too much stuffing in these. Now let's take a bite. Mmm. That is really good. Like I said, this makes just, it, it's a great side dish. It'll, it goes well with anything. Tacos, you know, any kind of a spicy type meal that you have going on. Or it can be its own dish. So, it's really cool. It's really easy. Not very expensive to make. And it, it could feed quite a few people. Or it can feed one person, like I said, for several days. Thank <laughs> you.